I like how they just have the whole neighborhood blocked off so that we can have our little go-kart race. <laughs> I feel like this is something that should happen in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Two Can Plays. Today we are going to be playing a game called Gearhead Karting. It is a uh, a kart simulator where you, a go-kart simulator where you race go-karts. And so the first task that I have to do is to go to the marketplace and buy a go-kart. So let's try that. Here we are. Here is the racetrack with all of the go-karts and it's telling me that I need to buy this go-kart right here. So. I guess we're gonna buy this one right here. It needs to be repaired, so let's buy this go-kart. And they take their go-karting very seriously here. So this is a part mechanic simulator, part racing simulator. Let's see, install a left side skirt and uh, set in place an engine and add fuel. Okay, so let's see. We need to install a left side skirt. How do I do that? Oh, here we are. Okay, so it tells me right here. Take this, I got the drill. And I install it here, okay? Oh, okay, there we go. I installed the part. I need an engine. I need to buy it from the shop. Let's see, where is the shop that I need to buy it from? Okay, there we go. So I just kind of go up to it and I push the button. <laughs> uh, let's see, 15 horsepower. Well, I want as big of an engine as I can get and I've got $700, so let's go ahead and we'll get this one right here. Oh, and then here it is. It got delivered right away. How convenient. And then I need to install the engine. And there it is. Okay, to install, I need the impact wrench, which is right over here. All right, now I need oil. That's fuel. And I can insert the fuel in the fuel tank. There we go, fuel added successfully. And there's some oil right there. I'm pretty haphazard with my oil and my fuel. <laughs> there we go. Got oil in the fuel or in the engine now. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, uh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, part is placed. Need to install, use the drill. So I added fuel to my fuel tank and it wasn't even installed. <laughs> That's not very good. <laughs> Okay, so my front suspension is also broken, but I can repair it here at the workbench here. Oh, I just throw it there and then it, it fixes automatically. Well, that's kind of nice. I wish I had a workstation that I could just throw something onto it and get it fixed. Wow, what happened? <laughs> there it is. Okay, it's in there. Okay, now I need to install it with my wrench. This is kind of a silly game. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get in the car. No! <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh no! I took it off! <laughs> oh! Man, I accidentally took a part off. I was trying to get in the car and I accidentally put the car, or the took a part off, and now I need to go put it back on. Oh, too many things can break in this in this game here. Okay, there we go. Now get in the car. There we go. Okay, let's start a race. Here we go. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Come on, come on. All right, now we're just doing a regular old go-kart race. Whoa, the controls are a little tight. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Okay, this game is is definitely silly. I like it though. I like it. I did receive this game for free from the developers. Thank you to them for offering it to me for free to evaluate. Uh, it is a it's a fun little silly kind of game. There's people just going around all over the place. Look at the names: Princess Zelda, Laura Croft, Max Payne, Kratos. Of course, I'd be going against the God of War himself, Kratos. Oh my goodness. Uh, they're going a little easy on me here in this first race. I like how they just have the whole neighborhood blocked off so that we can have our little go-kart race. <laughs> I feel like this is something that should happen in real life. <laughs> uh, man, so my hometown Vegas, they're actually getting ready for the F1 uh, races right now. The, um, the super fast F1 racers and they're tearing out like 
uh, landscaping and things that have been there for years just to put in stands. They're spending all kinds of dollars, millions and millions of dollars to get ready for the F1 races. Oh! <laughs> there we go. I think I've got this uh, go-kart racing down. I'm not ready for F1 racing yet, but uh, <laughs> go-kart racing I can handle. <laughs> Ah, this is a fun game. All right, I am a winner. A winner is you. That is me. I am the winner. <laughs> I beat Princess Zelda. Good for me. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do I need to do next? Do I have a checklist again or do I just move on to the next race? I don't know. Did I win anything? Did I get some money? Engine, fuel tank, everything looks good. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I got some money from that last one. Let's try it again. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Come on, get that engine revved. Oh, geez. Oh, high stakes racing right here. <laughs> oh, no, I hit the curb. Wow. <laughs> Nathan Drake, Solid Snake, Sam Fisher. <laughs> It's your auditory. We're going against the assassins. Oh, man. This is a silly, silly game. So I did Boy Scouts. I'm sorry, I taught Cub Scouts for a while. And we did uh, what they're called soapbox races or soapbox derby. It's basically you just take a box and you attach wheels to it and you roll it down a hill. It's kind of like uh, monster truck racing, uh, die cast racing, but in real life, you actually sit in it and uh, you control it. <laughs> and that's what this reminds me of, only with an engine. <laughs> All right, my little, my little buggy here is doing good, so let's keep going here. Race number three, get 10 more, 11 more dollars. Let's try it. Three, two, one, and go, let's go. I always do a three count. I don't know why. That was obviously a longer than the three count. Commander Shepard, Duke Nukem, Earthworm Jim. <laughs> love the names. It's great. But yeah, I love Cub Scouts. That was a lot of fun doing those uh, the downhill soapbox derbies. And yeah, we also did um, Pinewood Derbies. Pinewood Derbies are a lot of fun, too. The competition gets really, really stiff with the Pinewood Derbies. Well, that was quick. Only one lap on that one. I beat Duke Nukem forever. Well, I got Donkey Kong in this race. <laughs> so, you know, unfortunately, there isn't much variety in the tracks. They're all kind of the same. The controls are pretty rudimentary. I'm going to say as a racer, this game probably isn't the best. It's OK. It is only five dollars on Steam or on the Epic Game Store, so it's not very expensive and it does have some fun elements to it. You got the kart racing aspect to it and you've got the uh, the car mechanic simulator part of it, too. Uh, you know, it's it's a fun little diversion, maybe a good little uh, weekend, couple hours play here and there. Uh, it could be fun. <laughs> So far, there hasn't been much of a challenge, though. I know they're trying to get me used to the controls and everything, but uh, yeah, my competition has been kind of kind of lacking, a little subpar. One thing that I do really like about it, though, is that it's a solo developer. I think it's just one guy working on it. So, you know, if you want to support indie developers, this is a great way to do so is, you know, buy his game. Uh, I know he had a Kickstarter going for a little while, and I think the Kickstarter did get funded. Um, and now he's uh, he's trying to sell it on Steam and on Epic Game Store. So if you're interested in supporting a, in a good indie developer, this is a good way to do it. Go ahead and, and uh, use the link below, buy the game for $5, uh, and enjoy it for a weekend. A winner is me! So there's a couple other game modes here. We've got the drift mode. Let's see how this drift test works. Ooh, yeah, that's definitely a lot of drift. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Oh, so I get more points the longer I drift for. Okay, I see. I don't know why my, uh, <laughs> I don't know why my tires are so slippery. I guess because I'm drifting. Wow, that's some major drift. Again, though, the track is pretty much the same track that we've done. I mean, there's a little bit of differences here and there, but all the graphics are exactly the same. 
Hey, we won. Good for me. And there's the time trial. Let's try that one. So I'm guessing the time trial is I just have to finish the race within a certain amount of time. There's one lap down. We've got one more lap to go. I don't even see. OK, so my time is counting down up in the top left. Uh, and I should have no problems finishing here and then time. I got three minutes to make it and I'm, I'm almost there. It, it, like I said, it's just a little too easy here, even for this starting cart. Maybe it's because I bought that really big engine. I don't know, maybe, who knows? It just seems really easy. I mean, if they didn't want me to buy the big engine, then maybe I shouldn't have had that as an option. Oh. Yeah, there we go. We had plenty of time left over there. All right, so it looks like there's a little bit of wear and tear on my go-kart here. I could probably fix these tires up, buy, new some, buy some new ones. I've got $992. I can you know, buy some new ones if I need to. But I think for right now, I'm just gonna leave that tire on there uh, and we'll uh, we'll worry about repairing them, not repairing them, replacing them uh, later once they get down to a little bit less than that 25%. Everything else, you know, you can see that the, uh, you know, like I said, wear and tear on the uh, go-kart, it's starting to wear down a little bit. I imagine that as I continue to drive that the uh, parts will wear down. I'll just have to replace them and or buy a brand new go-kart. There are plenty of other go-karts to choose from out here in the marketplace. Let's go check it out here one more time. So yeah, they have all kinds of different go-karts. They all are kind of just variations of the same thing, though. They're just different colors. I, I mean, go-karts are go-karts, right? There's only so many different variations you can get, right? <laughs> uh. All right, so it looks like I can actually paint uh, some, some parts. Oh, yeah, there we go. So I can have a lime green machine here. <laughs> Nice. Can I paint the engine? No, I can't. There we go. I can I can paint the back bumper. So now I've got a lime green machine. <laughs> okay, let's just do one more race and we'll call it a day for this game. Again, I did receive this game for free. Thank you so much to the developers for sending it to me and for Cumulator. Uh, for reaching out and offering this game to me for free to try out. I really do appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun to, to test out. If you guys are interested in the game, I will have a link in the description below. Overall, yeah, it's it's, it's a fun game. If you are into go-kart racing, then uh, I think this game might be for you. I enjoyed my time with it. I don't know if I would spend a whole lot of hours playing this game, though. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate you. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side later.